shack signs. Shack signs. <laughs> yeah. Um, a- another strange piece of the puzzle is that apparently, uh, depending on which report you read, it's either five or six shots had been fired from Zanfretta's pistol. His pistol, his oh Smith & Wesson. So he wasn't so taking it easy is what you're saying. <laughs> well, <I don't> <laughs> Unless he he's doing desk wild pops. And... Unless he's he doing some desk pops, was... there's a problem. Definitely not taking it easy. It was That's a little bit of a big deal, I imagine, especially for the Institute of Vigilance. When you've discharged your firearm on the li- in the line of duty, you're like, at what? At where? <laughs> where were these bullets going? I don't know, some with the fucking 20-inch feet here? Like... So, it, as for anything, like, Sanfredo was worried about his kind of credibility, and so were his superiors. They were all kind of worried about what, what you know, what, what was going on with him. So, uh, the story was already kind of blowing up, and it was already something that Sanfredo was having trouble uh, kind of reconciling with. And he, if anything, he, he kind of said that he just wanted to be believed. He wanted people to believe him about this experience that he had, that it was something very real had happened there. So he decided to, uh, or he kind of, un- under the suggestion of uh, uh, Di Stefano, the, the, the reporter who was following the story, um, and uh, it, like they kind of got back together uh, with uh, Moretti, Dr. Moretti, to have another hypnosis session on January 7th of, uh, what was this, 1979? Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like well, this guy needs here. more than a hypnosis session if he's yeah. draining his fucking gun in the line of duty here. With not, like, this is... Well, this one, this one actually went out and was televised like this one it was popular well, enough to be like this and is, the reason and you can you can look this one up on youtube like this is the one that you will find on youtube if you look up this and case. this, like, this is and the that's, one that they that's because of, like this case was starting to gain some like notoriety like in italy like it was hitting the presses and stuff so people were like interested well, how in big are aliens at this time like what's the first star wars is out right yeah i would say yeah i would say these stories are Nine. are the print what about like, encounters viral? when did encounters come out Close Encounters? You're talking about Close Encounters? encounters. A New Hope 77. Mm -hmm. 77, Close Encounters encounters of a Third Kind. Okay. We're in alien. It's alien time. So aliens, aliens were out there. Like it it was. Oh, yeah. We know that. Aliens were popular at this time. All right. I mean, they had been popular. There's, I mean, there, there is uh, interviews with Sanfreda like later, like talking about um, actually, actually in one of his hypnosis sessions, I think they talked to him about like when was the first time you had ever seen, because they were kind of, they were worried at first, like maybe he was just having some type of hallucination, some type of, uh, you know, psychotic episode, something was happening. Oh, fair um, question. You know, they kind of asked him or, or like some kind of, you know, fantastic not Voyage. fantastic in the the good thing, but like a like a break or something. Mm-hmm. And they were talking. They asked him like, you know, when was the first time you ever saw like a science fiction movie? And he was like, when he was ten, and it was War of the Worlds. Like uh, that was that what OG. he remembered. That kind of stuck in his head. Um, but for this session, um, he, he they put him under, and they, you know, at, Moretti was asking him questions about you know what what exactly happened, and you know one of the, one of the concerns is like what happened to the bullets like what happened to the bullets in the gun and uh, like when they asked him about this like while he was under hypnosis uh they kind of had him like the procedure was pretty much to put him under and then have him walk through the day so it's like it would be like the transcripts are like zanfreda talking about like what he's doing as he's doing it um so he's like when he's in the 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 state of hypnosis he is like recalling things so he's like asking questions so these beans apparently like took his weapon and he was asking them why are you no, taking not my, my guns <laughs> no not my gun <laughs> um not to my and gun. so uh, they took his weapon and i guess they he says they like they discharged it at some type of square they, but he didn't hear the shots like there was no sound well see, these things well, think about shot. think about higdon's case Right? Right? Mm. Remember how interested they were in his primitive Not only that, but remember how they remember how he fired the gun and the bullet kind of like the you didn't hear the sound and it just kind of maybe they have similar technology. Right? That's kind of where my brain went to. I went this I was like, 
I think they're taking this and they're shooting it because they're interested in this primitive technology. Or they don't want this guy fucking popping off inside their ship. Like, it'd be, it'd be yeah. the same as, like, <laughs> if the, yeah. You can't, but, you can't blow a hole in the ship in space, yeah. all right? To be honest, so, like, imagine, like, the four of us, like, dropped into, like, I don't know, whatever, some sort of, like, ancient civilization. And, like, we saw We're this dead. guy with one of those, like, like rock-throwing things, right? And we just, like, we raid him or we darted him with some tranquilizer. And, like, y- you don't think you don't think one of us would give it a, the give the little rope thing a try like we would what's this thing what is it like, uh, yeah let's try it out like I, that's kind of what this felt like to me like I was so they grabbed like his they gun knew though because they, they shot it shooting. at that they shot it at that thing like i feel like they were intentionally emptying empty well that's clip. like no, they no, aimed no, at the that. sign or something right yeah. yeah but that's what i mean is like they're like they're like oh this is cool it's a primitive weapon you'd give it a try well, let's give it a saying. try yeah, you, they, Why not? like they were, they're interested. They're light years ahead of this technology. They're like, let's, like, this is cool. In my head, I feel like they're like just taking away his weapon, so he can't hurt anybody. Well, that's, I mean, first you take the guy's weapon. And you're like, let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah. Let's go around back and shoot some fucking. I've, I've always wanted to try one of these. Yeah, yeah. It, well, exactly. That that's exactly the thing, right? They disarm them and then then. It's hey, like tourists to tourists go to Vietnam and they fucking pay two hundred dollars to shoot an AK forty seven full automatic. Uh, the next thing that the, these creatures would do after discharging his weapon is that Zanfreda kind of recalled them putting some type of helmet device on his head. Uh, and this would, this, this equipment, this device, uh, would, would reappear in uh, other, uh, several other of the abduction, abduction experiences that Zanfreda would go on to, to recall that they put this thing on top of, on his head. Um, and apparently it, it cost him some amount of pain yeah, so, uh, every in, time in, that they put this this thing on in hypnosis he started yelling no the helmet on my head and i beg of you it hurts <laughs> and uh it, then after that they perform some type of examination i suppose uh this is when they apparently undressed him oh, yeah. and uh ran some type of device uh in him. over his chest and torso <laughs> There, uh, there's no mention of probing. Um, I wouldn't. There's no mention I wouldn't of, mention of, of either. invasive probing. There's implications. Why? of it. There's just why are you taking my clothes off? Yeah. yeah why? There's not too. There's not too many further. It's cold in here. What are you doing? There's, there's not too many further yeah. like avenues you go after you take your clothes off. It's only a couple. <laughs> they just want his temperature. How do you think they get that? They gotta go in the butt. It's the most accurate. <laughs> so after after this experience like after this hypnosis experience um some of the under <laughs> some of the higher ups kind of wanted the higher ups in the institute of vigilance uh, kind of decided that you know it might be better if we can get him to do it, it might lend somewhat <laughs> to his credibility if we if we have him submit to a sodium pentothal test and here's the thing here's there's the lots thing about of things this, a yeah, let's, let's yeah, break this a down things. a little bit. One thing to me is like, what gives me some sort of like, it like, you know, this sounds legit. Is that the fact that his employer is being like, not just being like, this guy's crazy. Uh, sorry, Zanfreda, you're fired for all these incidences, and you know, go take care of yourself and distancing. They're like, no, no, no. He's this is legit. Something is wrong with this person through experience he has and everyone's backing him up like this is to me i'm like to even have his employer being like you down to do something else because we got your back something weird fucking happened to you like we have your back as long as you do you know do the hypnosis do the sodium pentothal the truth serum whatever we got your back i was like this is a weird thing to for an employer to do because you think the employer truth serum very lightly yeah okay but you think the employer (laughs) would be like hey uh, he's on leave. <laughs> he's on. Listen, uh, he, he's on, the uh, best cop they got. He's the best yeah. cop they got. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he doesn't pay yeah, by so, the uh, rules. He uh, gets results. Absolutely. For those who are not familiar with sodium pentothal, that is the it's commonly known as uh, truth serum, or it's referred to as truth. It's serum. just drunk serum, isn't it? Um, yeah. Well, all it does, it much. just lowers yeah. your your inhibitions, basically. It listen, listen. Right. It like lowers the cortical functions in your brain. Listen, baby, I'm on truth serum like, right now. No, legitimately though, like, and that's a problem with it. Fly, baby. <laughs> it, it basically, 
you know, you, you're inebriated. And the problem is, like, the people who are pathological liars has no effect on them because they're going to lie no problem. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.